The most important component of nuclear triad is submarine. Ballistic missile submarines are used by the United States, the United Kingdom, Russia, France, India, and China to transport and potentially launch nuclear missiles. These countries have three options to launch a nuclear strike. One, land-based missiles. Two, bomber aircraft. Three, submarines. This is called nuclear triad. In case one of these nuclear-armed countries strikes first, it could target and destroy all of its adversaries, land-based nuclear missiles and bomber aircraft. However, it may not be able to detect and destroy all of the mobile and ultra-stealth submarines. As a result, these nuclear-armed submarines are called symbol of nuclear deterrence. The United States Ohio-class and Russia's Boree-class nuclear-armed submarines are considered the most powerful submarines ever manufactured. Today, we'll compare these silent war machines and we'll try to determine which is the king of the deep waters. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the bell button so you are alerted when we make a new upload. Number one, the United States Ohio class are nuclear armed submarines and is a guarantee that pretty much no matter what happens on the US mainland, any attack will not go unanswered. The first boat of the class was commissioned in 1981. A total of 18 Ohio-class subs were built for the U.S. Navy, four of which were later converted into cruise missile submarines. Each boat has a submerged displacement of 18,750 tons and are considered the third largest submarines ever built. On the other hand, the Boree-class submarines are much smaller than the Soviet-era Typhoon-class. These subs are super stealthy almost impossible to detect, as most of them are launched from some of the most northern bases in the world. The first submarine in this Bari series was deployed in 2013. The Russian Navy operates five submarines of Bari class. With the submerged displacement of 24,000 tons, the Bari class are the world's second largest submarines ever built. Armed with Bari class, the Russian Navy has resumed strategic patrols in southern latitudes after a gap of 20 years. Number two, as of today, per unit cost of an Ohio-class submarine is around $3 billion. The Ohio is outfitted with three logistic hatches to resupply and repair. These hatches allow rapid transfer of supply pallets, equipment replacement modules, and machinery components. Ohio-class is some of the quietest and most difficult to detect submarines ever invented. During sea trials in 1982, the Ohio was virtually undetectable. The length of an Ohio-class submarine is 560 feet, and its beam is 42 feet. Operated by crew of 155, these subs carry about half of U.S. active strategic thermonuclear warheads. On the other side, the inflation-adjusted cost of a Boree-class sub is around $1 billion. Each Boree is constructed with 1.3 million components. The total length of piping is 68 miles and the length of wiring is 373 miles. The boat's acoustic signature is noticeably quieter than that of previous generations of subs. Russians claim that the noise level is five times lower than a Kula class and two times lower than that of the US Virginia class submarines. The Boree class is approximately 558 feet long with a diameter of approximately 44 feet and can accommodate a cruise size of 107. The vessel is equipped with a floating rescue chamber designed to accommodate the whole crew. Number three, the Ohio class is powered by a nuclear reactor powering two steam turbines to produce around 70,000 horsepower. The submarine is equipped with a 325 horsepower auxiliary diesel engine. Equipped with a seven bladed shaft, the sub can gain top speeds in excess of 12 knots surfaced and 25 knots submerged. The operational range of the boat is only limited by food supplies. The submarine has been tested at maximum depth of 800 feet. Similarly, the Boree class is driven by a nuclear reactor powering a steam turbine engine. These subs are Russia's first to use a pump jet propulsion system. The vessel can travel at top speed of 15 knots surfaced and 33 knots submerged. With a nuclear reactor, the subs again have in theory unlimited range as they just need to come back for supplies occasionally. The planned test depth of the submarine is around 3,000 feet. Number four. Each Ohio class can carry up to 24 Trident nuclear-armed missiles, capable of attacking a target 7,500 miles away. If you just think about that, it means there's pretty much no target on Earth that is out of reach. 
Just to give you an idea, when a single Trident II missile re-enters the atmosphere at speeds of Mach 24, it splits into 14 independent re-entry vehicles, each carrying 100 kiloton of nuclear destruction. In summary, in less than a minute, 24 missiles could be launched, resulting in 336 warheads, which would effectively render 24 large cities completely destroyed. The Ohio class is outfitted with four torpedo tubes to fire Mark 48 torpedoes. These torpedoes are guided by wires, or they can also utilize their own active or passive sensors. The torpedo is designed to detonate beneath a surface ship's keel, breaking the keel and destroying the ship's structure. In the event of a miss, it can return for another shot. By comparison, the newer Bordy class subs are armed with 20 Balava class nuclear missiles. A single missile can split into 6 to 10 multiple independent re-entry vehicles with a yield of 150 kiloton each. The missiles have an estimated range in excess of 6,200 miles, again meaning that pretty much any target on the globe is within reach. The submarine also carries six tubes for launching 533mm torpedoes to target enemy ships and subs within the distance of 28 miles. The payload ranges from a simple depth charge to a 200 kiloton thermonuclear warhead. Powered by solid fuel rocket, the maximum speed of a torpedo is around Mach 0.9. The Ohio class is $2 billion costlier than Bari class submarine. Both vessels are nuclear powered and come with operational range only restricted by supplies. These subs are virtually undetectable, and even if you could detect and destroy one of them, there are potentially others that will be in a completely different location. Both submarines are similar in size, however the Russian sub requires fewer crew members to operate it. The Bari class is heavier, however it can outrun the American sub at its top speed, at 33 knots in comparison to 25 knots on the Ohio class. As far as the firepower is concerned, an Ohio class carries more nukes than the Russian sub. Is there a significant difference between the Trident's 7500 mile range and the Bulava's 6200 mile range? Well, certainly not, because that's still enough to eliminate 20 target cities all around the world with a single button press. The Bari class is armed with more sophisticated nuclear-armed anti-submarine missile system launched from torpedo tubes. The Ohio, on the other hand, is equipped with conventional 21-inch torpedoes. So, who do you think is a better sub? The United States Ohio class or Russia's Bari class? Let us know in the comment section. Also, be sure to check out our other videos. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.